Hola. Still here in Playa del Carmen. Here for another week. But right now, I wanted to go walk down to the beach, try to check out a sunset. I also wanted to check out the waves, because my cousin asked me how they were, so I'm gonna go check that out and report back to him. It's about 6 p.m. right now. The weather is not bad at all. It's probably 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Feels really nice. A little bit humid, but nothing too crazy. I've noticed actually that I can get away with not having the AC on all the time. In Vietnam, I had to keep that thing cranking down to sub-zero temperatures. My landlords probably thought I had like a pet penguin or something. But no, it's just me with my Antarctic preferences. I've noticed here that the exchange rate is a little bit less ideal than the exchange rate. So I had to run across the street there. Than the exchange rate in like San Isidro before I go into Tijuana. It's a little bit less ideal than that. But it's still pretty close to 20 pesos to $1. I mainly just see 19 pesos to the dollar here. Which makes it a little bit hard to do the math on things, how much they really cost in dollars. But basically I just round up to 20 and I base all of my prices in dollars on the peso being 20 pesos to the dollar. Beach from my place is about a 20 minute walk. So not too bad. I sort of wish I was a little bit closer, but I would have paid more money. So I like where I'm at. Forces me to get out and walk. Which is good for me. I remember when I first moved to Vietnam, the, the month, first two months I was living there, I was walking a lot and I probably lost like 15 or 20 pounds. It was good. I didn't have a motorbike for a while, so I was just walking everywhere in Go Vap district. I miss those times. Back when Traveling was still very new to me. I knew nothing about Asia. I landed there. Had no idea what it was going to be like, but decided that that's the direction I wanted to take my life in. I don't regret it at all. Very happy I did it.
We're getting pretty close to the beach now. I think I can even smell the water. There's a really cool, I guess, statue or sculpture. Not sure, but it's right over here. I'll show you. Like some sort of Aztec commemorative thing, I guess. Anyways, here's uh, Quinta Avenida, Fifth Avenue. I'll walk down a little bit of it, show you guys what's up, so you can see it a little bit more in the daytime. Lots of restaurants and bars over here for all you ladies with large breasts. Big boobs get a free shot <laughs> at El Tacoyote. Let me ask this guy, how, uh, how big do your boobs have to be to get a free shot? Like are these? That's like half a shot. That's half a shot, okay. Well, I'll try to I'll try to grow my boobs a little bit more. No, okay, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So they said, with the with the size boobs I have, I could get half a shot. <laughs> I I don't think. <laughs> Anyways, lots of vendors here pharmacies <clears throat> of course you got senor frogs but this is not an actual senor frogs bar this is like a store you got like the disney store stuff going on with senor frogs a cool looking building or apartment. I have mixed feelings about Playa del Carmen still. I'm happy to be out traveling. That's just what I thrive on. But it's a little bit commercial for my taste. It's a little bit too touristy. And I don't say that trying to be like a snob saying, oh, I'm not a tourist. Of course I'm a tourist, but it's just a little bit too geared around that, that sort of idea. Of, <laughs> that idea of, I don't know, sort of spring break type thing. I, I am here during spring break, which probably doesn't help, but yeah. I'm hoping that Mexico City, Oaxaca, Guadalajara are all more of like a chiller vibe, I guess. Not so tourist predatory, but there's some nice people here. I'd say the majority of the locals I've interacted with, especially ones that aren't like taxi drivers or you know different types of jobs where they're almost always going to try to to get you my interactions with most of the locals here have been really good so kudos to you mexico keep being cool of full of cool people i don't want to go down there i want to go these look like resort beaches. I kind of just want to go down to the regular beach. 
I suppose it doesn't matter. Let's go down this way. Got the Hilton. I don't know what the price is there. You could probably check it. I would, my guess would be 300 a night, which is clearly out of my price range, being broke time Bentley that I am. Almost feels like a different vibe over here though. It's like a little bit of plushness compared to a little bit more chaos. But I can really smell the water now. I can smell the, the fish, which will soon be turned into mariscos or seafood in Spanish. Hey, excuse me, how much are you guys paying for a night here at this Way hotel? Too much, man. <laughs> like sure. over 300? Uh, per night? Yeah. I don't know. No, we paid for a whole yeah, we paid for a whole package for seven nights. How much was that? 1900 for the flights and everything. Is that all inclusive, all you can drink? Okay, cool. Thanks, guys. I mean, they make you work for it a little bit. <laughs> Do they? Yeah. All right. Enjoy. Thanks. Hear ya. So that guy said 1900 for a week, all-inclusive. I see a lot of people doing those all-inclusive things, which is one way to go. I mean, 1900 for two weeks, or sorry, 1900 for one week, that comes down to about 280 a night. So they're getting their hotel on the beach, all you can drink, all you can eat, 280 a night. That's one way to do it. It's one way to do it. I, on the other hand, would prefer to pay for a much cheaper place and just buy the drinks that I feel like having and eat street food. It's, it's delicious. You know? Can't beat it. Like a fish full of plastic bottles. Interesting. I guess that's just a, a place for people to recycle. I told you in the OXO video that people cannot, you cannot get bags at the OXOs. I guess that's really good for the environment in terms of not creating that plastic waste. But man, is it a hassle. If you want more than like three or four things, it's difficult to carry. So keep that in mind. Maybe bring your own bags down here. But here we are in La Playa. La Playa de Playa de Carmen. Well, cousin, doesn't look like there's very much of a swell. If you're down for the one to two footers, to the 
the other part of the playa. So I'm gonna walk over there, back on the street. I'm gonna make a little headway on that and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Just wanna give you guys a bit of an update on something that just happened, but something that is very common here, especially when you're a guy my age, is you'll have these bar owners, or I don't know if they're bar owners, but employees at least, they'll come up and they'll offer you drugs or other things that are illicit. And that's how you get in trouble, guys. People, people always say, hey, isn't, isn't Mexico so dangerous? No, it's not. Unless you do stuff like that. Unless you try to, you say yes to those guys and then you end up getting God knows what from God knows where. Well, you, if you're smart enough, you really know who's running that show. I think they've, they've made several TV shows about it. I don't really need to say it, but just avoid that and you'll be fine. Keep a, keep a good head on your shoulders. Don't act a fool. I'm not saying you can't go out and have fun. Clearly you've seen me doing that on my videos, but just be aware and you'll be all right. back here on Quinta Avenida. If you guys want some really good, cheap, very affordable beers over here, go to Cerveceria Chapultepec, right here. This place, 29 pesos for everything. Beers, tacos, tostadas, whatever you feel like, they've got it there, $1.50 for each item. So you can't go wrong with that. But let's go down one more block and then I'm gonna head back to the beach. This is this is the spot we were at for our, our late night ones the other day. I guess it's technically technically called the roof, but there's another sign on it that says 69 day gay dance club, so no homo. Sometimes you gotta do what's gotta be done to get a decently priced drink. some beach club but hopefully that's not the whole beach isn't occupied by that beach club it does say accesso publico so i should be okay but there's a beach club here if you're interested so yeah this is playa del carmen beach there's a lot of the sand is really soft nice white soft sand but there's like a lot of kelp or seaweed that collects right here and i don't know if that's an everyday thing or maybe it's just today well no it's definitely not just today because i saw it yesterday i apologize for any wind sound also i took off the uh took off the micro wind jammers because I noticed that there was like a an issue with like a staticky sound in the audio in one of my videos so I took it off to see if that would help but there may be some more wind sound so really sorry about that but gotta do what you gotta do
like there's some people playing volleyball. Obviously, lots of people just chilling on the beach. And then over there, you've got these, I guess like Aztec or Mayan performers. I've got a clip of that. I could include that in this video. I don't think I'm gonna go all the way over and film it again, so I'll include that. Not the greatest sunset in the world today, but a little bit cloudy. Might even rain on us. But it's always nice to be at the beach. I grew up in Redondo Beach, so I do like me some beach time. I stopped putting on the, the little tags or whatever, but if you guys want to, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It really does help out and click the like button and leave a comment. I'm always happy to talk to you guys and respond to whatever questions you have or any sort of comments. So. Look forward to hearing from you, and I hope you guys are really enjoying it. Little massages over here. Beach massages. Let's go. Let's go ask how much the beach massages are. Why not? Well, I don't know. I'm not going to do that. I feel a little creepy going in there and filming someone else getting massaged. Uh, thought that might be employee, an employee sitting. But I said, oh, I think maybe it is. Let's ask him. Senor, ¿trabajas aquí en the ma massage? Ah, no. No? No. ¿Sabes? Uh, Quanto cuesta massage? Yeah, I. Quanto Quanto cuesta massage por una hora? Thirty-five dollars. Thank you. Relaxing. relaxing? How, on a scale of one to ten, how relaxing is it? You have to pay five hundred dollars for the relaxing one. Oh. 35 for relaxing okay all right well you guys enjoy that relaxation all right bye guys have fun Seems like a pretty relaxing massage. Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo están? Muy bien. ¿De dónde son? Somos de la ciudad de Guadalajara. De Guadalajara. Residimos en la ciudad de San Francisco. Oh, sí. 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 Yo soy de Los Ángeles. Oh. Sí. Somos vecinos. Sí. Ah. Y, y en tres semanas más voy a me voy a Guadalajara ah, para visitar. Qué bonito. Sí. Sí. Soy de Guadalajara. Eres de Guadalajara, sí. Somos de Guadalajara. Ok, awesome. La ciudad más bonita de en... toda la República Mexicana. Sí. Sí. ¿Por qué? ¿Quién va a llegar a Guadalajara? ¿Por qué voy a Guadalajara? Sí. Por, de vacaciones. Quiero uh, visitar ¿Es Guadalajara. ¿Es la primera vez que vas a ir? Sí. ¿Ya sí. tiene tu hotel? Uh, no tengo hotel todavía. Oye, pero voy a... ¿Nos quedamos? ¿Cómo se llama la, nos quedamos la casa? No, es de Mendoza. 
la, la casa Mendoza. Sí. El el de Mendoza. Es, es, es bonito. Sí, está cerca del de Guadalajara. Teatro de Gollado. Ah, oh, muy bien. Oh, ¿sí? Sí. la iglesia, el centro, todo está así oh, muy bien y quiero uh, quiero visitar Guadalajara pero antes de Guadalajara voy a Oaxaca oh. ¿Has, uh, han visitado a Guadalajara o no o oh, so, uh, uh, a Oaxaca ya yeah. no, no? Uh, como se He oído buenas cosas o cosas buenas de, sí. de Oaxaca. Todos los estados tienen cosas muy buenas. Sí. Lo más ahorita acaba de pasar un problema en el cañón del sumidero, que es muy famoso en Oaxaca. Sí. Entonces, no sé, pero siempre hay cosas buenas en todos lados. Pero usted nació en Los Ángeles. En Los Ángeles. En... Sí, sí, nací en, en la ciudad Torrance. Sí, y uh, vivía en Redondo Beach, yeah. sí, y um, la, los cuatro años pasados vivía en uh, Vietnam, y sí. No, 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 Estoy de vacaciones por un mes en México y, y después de México uh, voy a vivir en Vietnam otra vez. ¿Otra vez? Sí, otra vez. ¿Te gustó Vietnam? Sí, me encanta mucho. Incluso hay mucha gente mucha nacida gente. que es americana nacida en Vietnam. Sí, Por lo de la, la guerra verdad. en esos años. Entonces todos esos son ciudadanos americanos y regresaron a Estados Unidos. Sí. Porque los americanos dejaron muchos hijos regados. Sí. Muchos, muchos. Esa es la, la cosa de Vietnam. Que tiene mucho de esa relación. Sí. Volvemos a Guadalajara. Guadalajara es en el estado de Jalisco. En Jalisco, sí. Las cosas más famosas de México que conoce el mundo es sí. mariachi, tequila, Sí. Y baile folclórico. ¿Y qué? Baile folclórico. Oh, baile folclórico. Que bailen okay. así. Sí. Las tres cosas son del estado de Jalisco. Oh, sí. El tequila es de Jalisco. Ah. El mariachi es de Jalisco. Y el baile folclórico más famoso del mundo es sí. de Jalisco. Ah, muy interesante. Eso es Jalisco y es Guadalajara. Well. Y Guadalajara es la capital y es la segunda ciudad más grande de la República Mexicana. All right. la, la más grande, Jalisco. La segunda. La segunda la más grande. La primera es Mexico City. What's the, oh, the biggest Mexico the City? Es Mexico City. Ah. 20 million. Uh, aprendí en la escuela en, en high school. ¿En Pero... Good thing you still remember it. Yeah, I... I, I don't think you just got out of high school. I didn't know. I, I'm 32, <laughs> so I've, I've always, like, practiced a little bit, though. I like to try to speak Spanish. In L.A., there's so many, yeah, yeah, so many people who speak Spanish, so it's easy. To, I actually got, I got a job at AT&T, at an AT&T store, and I told, right out of high school, and I said, I can speak Spanish. So you worked the Latin section of Well, well I, I kind of lied on my application. I said, <laughs> I, said <laughs> I said, yeah, I can speak Spanish, and they're like, okay. So that my first day, they're like, we don't have any Spanish speakers. Tyler, get up there and you're, you got to help them out. So I learned how to speak Spanish better on that job. Yeah, so I was like, ¿Cómo te puedo ayudar? That's weird because well, girl I'm dating right now too, she did a direct TV. Yeah. Southern, Southern LA. And same thing. But she went to Spain to learn Spanish. Oh, yeah. She came back. But she was like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And more translating and Spanish. Yeah. Adina, she did the same for direct. That's awesome. That's weird. <laughs> so it goes so nice. Hey, really good to meet you guys. Nice. What's your name? Carlos. Carlos, nice to meet you, Carlos. Adrian, Adrian nice Adrian. to meet you. Maria. Maria, Adrian. very nice to meet you. My name's Tyler. 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 And I have a I have a YouTube channel called Big Time Bentley. If you guys want to check that out. So. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great one. You too. See you later. Bye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye, guys. Yeah, you too. Very, very nice people there.
gave me some advice on Guadalajara. I'll definitely have to add some subtitles to that for you guys. But they gave me some advice on traveling to Guadalajara and told me some of the information about the state of Jalisco. And yeah, once again, the Mexican people uh, proved to be very nice and very accommodating, very friendly. So I love doing that stuff like that, seeing new people. And hopefully we get to meet a lot more new people on this trip. But I think that's a good way to wrap up the video. I'm just going to probably walk home now. Um, I'm gonna go out with my friend later and hang out. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.